James, Steph, uh, the future of uh, British engineering, I think, is in safe hands. This has been an absolutely fantastic educational day. Can, can you tell our, our viewers about the day? Start with you, James, really. Uh, wow, OK, so probably the backstory of how it all started. Um, and I'm looking at Steph because she was a major component within this. So some time ago, uh, I identified, we've identified, we've spoken about it before on previous pieces, Geo, where um, colleges, and this is a bit of a general statement and it sounds derogatory but it's not meant to be, colleges have not been able to deliver what is recognisable in industry. So, um, And there's loads and loads of reasons for that that's not a college's fault. So when I struck a, an early relationship with, with this place, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the leaders here said, you need to meet this lady called Steph. She's responsible for employer engagement. You two guys would, would bounce off each other quite well. This is the bit where we can get industry, engage with the college, uh, help help the Haas name at the same time. So um, Steph actually contacted me having been given my phone number and immediately we hit it off on the phone and it was like <laughs> we, we clearly got the same objectives. We set up a meeting, um, I came over here, met Steph and actually from nowhere I suddenly thought well and I asked Steph the question didn't I? I said well have you ever been in an engineering factory and the answer was well, well no okay so rather than talk about it let's jump in my car we'll go and visit all of the Haas users in the uh, general location around here um, you can learn a little bit about what it's like in a factory find out their needs and um, from that that day we started to develop the idea about today and from there it's just developed into this kind of concept to can we really pull this off to actually wow it's happened and it's it's exceeded everybody's expectations um, and yeah Steph, Steph's been an absolute trooper doing most of the work I have to say well yeah because I had the, I had this kind of uh, spark of an idea um, it's never been done before it's kind of let's get it out on paper and, and, and Steph made it happen here so uh, yeah it's been great it's been great S Steph um, first time I've met you today and, um, and and I can vouch for everything that James just saying it's been brilliant to meet you and and, and your passion and enthusiasm is, is second to none how do you think it's gone today and, and, and what do you think about James <laughs> Honestly, I think it's, it's better than I thought it would. Um, we had this vision of kind of incorporating education with industry and trying to bring employers in and try and get students on board and get them excited about engineering again. It's, it, I thought it would be a much more difficult task, but no, I think today and the outcome of today and seeing how the students have been today and how they've been interacting with employers today, it's absolutely 100% be worth it. I mean, you, you'll see the video coming soon on MTDCNC channels. Now, the students were absolutely amazing. I think they impressed everyone. Some of their designs um, w were amazing. Can, can you explain what they were challenged with? So, they had very little to work on. It was literally come up with an idea and we're going to make this idea into reality. And it's the whole process, that journey of, OK, I've thought of something that I want to make. Whatever it is, you've got this, this tiny little... 75 by 75 piece of aluminium material um, and you have to create something out of that there was no kind of you know route it needs to be within this and this and this it was that process of oh god I've got to think of something and it could be anything and then having that journey of creating something and then it becoming an actual 3d material um, yeah and it's having that process and it being able to do in one day as well so again you know we mentioned earlier on if you can do this in one day imagine what you can do within a week or a month or a year so now uh, i think it's safe to say that like the students to a certain degree were inspired and and do you think that it, it's potentially changed their perception of, of of industry do you know what? i really do um it was almost dare I dream that might be the case with just a few of the students at the start of the day. And, and we talked about it. We said, you know, if we can win, we'd got about 70 students there today. And we thought if we can change the perception of five or six of them and, and get them engaged with the industry, that, that's a win. And by the end of the day, um, wow, I think, I think we'd, we'd actually hooked all of them. Uh, and that's evidenced by the amount that just hung back, missed buses for us, wanted to talk about more, got some more ideas, uh, blah, 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 blah. And uh, yeah, what a win, uh, fantastic, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's lots of people, we, we, you know, 
smiling like a Cheshire cat today. <laughs> um, people have been happy, haven't they? And, and, and you can really see the enthusiasm and passion that not only the students have shown, but the mentors yes. have, have shown. Uh, Steph, is this something that potentially you think that should be rolled out as standard um, for students looking to get into engineering? Absolutely. I think it's easy when you are on a college course, you know, it's, it's easy to kind of get yourself in a routine. And I think um, without that hands-on experience, you can't really make that decision whether you're going to enjoy it. It's not, you don't know whether it's going to be for you or not, I don't think. And having an opportunity like this and giving them an insight of what it's actually like, listening to what employers are looking for from students, not just, you know, you're here, you're doing an engineering course and then that's it, you're going to be ready. Actually, no, we need to know what employers are looking for because that's where we're, get, that's where we're sending them. So getting the employers involved and getting them, you know, telling us and speaking to us, yeah. what do you want, what do you want from our students and working together Having an event like this, hopefully, you know, we might be able to explore this within other departments. It's not just engineering. And even if we can inspire other colleges to do the same, just to try and get this industry a bit more... I don't know. It's, it, it's, it's important to be excited about it. And I think it's so easy to get lost when you are in education with that because there's not a lot of hands-on. There's not a lot of opportunities to go out and see what it's like in that industry. Um, and again, you know, like I said, having an event like this it just gives them the opportunity to see what it's like. So you're taking the guesswork out of it for them, if yeah. you like. You're giving them that real-life um, experience. I mean, we mentioned earlier on that we wish that we had these kind of opportunities when yeah. we were students. And, and, and same question to you, really, James. You've supported this event along with Steph, and you've done an absolutely fabulous job. Is this something potentially that you guys would be looking to work together on maybe in the future and roll out across the country? Yeah, I think it is. And it's important to remember, actually, that, you know, uh, all the organisations that were here today, the mentors, us, our job, actually, isn't just to help students feel better about their day or have a lovely time. We're here to sell machine tools. That's our function. So we can't lose sight of that commercial pressure. Uh, the mentors that were here today have given up a, a lot of their time from different organisations, customers, suppliers, and, and again, they were aware of the fact that this is an investment, not just for future engineers, but actually this is about um, students being comfortable, confident and safe on working on, on, on equipment that, as I said before, is recognisable in industry, but actually a brand that you can grow into as well. This is going somewhere. It's not just a, a little educational piece. Uh, and it's actually built a narrative that people can discuss as well. So it, it's the networking that's happened today and the message that's going to get out of there. I fully expect to be talking to customers over the next few weeks that haven't been involved to today. What's gone on? What was that about then? How do we get involved with something like that? How do we get our apprentices engaged? And, and it becomes, it's a very real need at the moment. The, in, the industry keeps talking about a skills gap. Um, we have to have a market to sell to. This, this, this is something that will get talked about for a long time. So long-winded answer to the question, but with some important messages in there. Uh, yes, we'll be doing it again. Uh, I'm sure we'll do it probably on an annual basis here. And you're absolutely right, there's no reason why we shouldn't roll it out in different forms, actually, at different levels of education across the country. No reason at all. James, absolute pleasure. Steph, lovely to meet you and good luck for the future. Thank you very much.